morning guys so today basically i'll be discussing a very crucial thing when taking the signals you understand we get to know that okay fine there are so many signal room you can be that you can see something like tp1 tp2 tp3 and you with more position sometimes you wonder what does this mean tp1 tp2 does that mean also have open three positions four positions five positions but the thing now is fine. Yes, you can open one position to position and three positions. But the best thing to do when you see something like that, TP1, TP2, TP3, and you are trying to head for the last TP or the second TP, all you just have to do is let's go for an example now. I hope you guys can see my screen. For instance, maybe you are given a signal of Euro USD to buy around this particular place, and you were given your stop loss to be around this particular place now maybe the signal provider or the signal i provided i made use of this particular first line here as my first tp and i made use as this place let's imagine as my second tp yeah so now what you're going to do now is what you're going to do now normally is that fine when the price of the market comes to you don't forget this about stop loss here you understand the stop loss was supposed to be is 1.08164 while our entry is 1.08190 zero do you understand so basically let's assume the price of the market came here to our entry and pick the buy limits of the entry do you understand and it's already going up you understand definitely from here to here you will be in profit right so now okay fine let's make this our, our first profit our first take profit let's make this our first take profit this is our second why this is our third do you understand so our first profit is our take profit is 1.08250 which means our tp1 and this will be our tp2 and this is our tp3 so now you hit our entry and it's already going now it's tp1 now you are confused are you going to close that tp1 and open another position at tp1 for it to tp2 no what you just have to do is when you get your entry if you want to open two positions or three more positions that doesn't matter this is what matters even though you put more position that doesn't matter now you just wait or let me say you don't even need to wait if the, for the price of the market to get to your tp before you do what i want to explain now do you understand if the price of market gets to maybe somewhere around here which means you're already in blue you're already in profit do you understand there's something we call locking in profit they call this locking in profit do you understand all you have to do is you have to lock your trade in profit because either ways anything can happen there might be news there might be any other thing that can actually cause the market to move downward don't forget we don't control the market and you don't have to blame your signal provider for that because it doesn't control the market too you understand it's just one man out of trillions of traders you understand so now what you just have to do for this for your own sake is that when you're already in profit around this particular place maybe the price market around is around this particular place hasn't got even got to tp1 what you have to do is you modify your stop loss from this particular place you modify your stop loss you understand from this particular place and now you are buying you are buying around this particular place here yeah, you are buying so what you have to do is you modify your stop loss above your entry which means that if the price of the market is coming down next time to retrace it's going to lock it in profit for you they might decide when it gets your entry again to re-enter and do the same thing you know psychological you've already locked a particular trade in profits you understand so even though that will even go go in loss it will more more or less be like countering your initial profits with that loss but it won't go in loss i'm just saying like to show you how reasonable it is do you understand now and it's not going to go in loss that is still going to buy there's like a double bonus for you do you understand because if you still open that position it's only going to reduce your profits back to 0 0.000 and when it starts moving up again you will have it like maybe one or something any profit but the fact that you've closed and locked in profits with maybe like 50 cents and i don't know more than 50 i'm just saying if you're using the lowest loss size 0 0.01 so now the fact that you've, you've closed and you locked the 50 cents and it's coming here and it's still by that's like the 50 cents are like additional money to your equity do you understand and that will that will really really help you to close all your trades in positive in, in profits because some trades these days are not even stp don't forget that the market makers all they do is they collect our data and you know work with it to liquidate us so thank you very much i hope with these few points i will be i'm able to call to to prove one or two things okay so the same the same thing goes for your sell signals so maybe this was supposed to be a sex signal you're supposed to sell around this particular place yeah we're supposed to sell around this particular place and you said maybe for instance your tp for years going to be here let me take out this brush drawing Maybe okay, fine. This will also be your first TP. 
then this will be your second CP I'm coming. This was supposed to be your second CP and this was supposed to be your third CP. So all you just have to do is you do the same thing. This was supposed to be your entry, this was supposed to be your stop loss. Right there, I'm just saying, right, depending on the signals you have been given. Or even though you don't find the signals yourself, do you understand? Doesn't necessarily mean so this is actually for newbies, even with time it is, because I be like it's not everybody that knows these things, you understand? So now the thing like this is your entry is supposed to be your stop loss, and it's supposed to be your we're assuming these signals, please. This is your first TP, second TP, and third TP. Now, now you enter the price of the market here and it has already been moving bearishly, it has already been selling, so definitely you'll be in profit. So what you want to do is you just you just set your you set your stop loss, you modify your stop loss. Let me use that one. You modify your stop loss. You change it. But I feel like I believe all of us know how to modify our stop loss. You understand? All you just have to do is you go to your MT5, you swipe left, you swipe, you drag from your think yeah, you drag from the right to the left. Then you see a pencil icon. You understand? So I will try and show you a video. At, I feel like the video will be showing right now on the screen. I'll make sure the video is showing on the screen right now. Editing to be showing on the screen right now. So you swipe left, so you swipe left, you understand? You click on that icon that looks like a pencil. And when you click on that icon that looks like a pencil, you it will actually go to put some parameters out. So you change and modify your words, your stop loss by copying and paste where you want to put your stop loss. Because for instance, now if you are selling around this particular place now, you definitely you want to put your stop loss, you want to modify your stop loss below your entry. Do you understand? So it's actually closing profits for you anytime. Now another rule is that make sure the market has covered the product market has covered some certain pips before you set it you understand for instance this the fact that this tp1 is close you understand it's very very close to the entry you can like to use the tp1 first before you set it but the fact that if the tp1 is kind of far you understand you say kind of far or it's already next to tp1 you can just put it below you understand thank you very much this is a five minute time frame so thank you very much i hope this is very useful to you guys now subscribe